Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to my review of the iPhone SE. This year, Apple has gone back to the design of iOS. As you can see, the iPhone 6S Plus looks like a giant front of the iPhone SE. Let's get into the display. The display is a 4-inch IPS panel and has a resolution at 640 x 1136 and pixel density up to 326 ppi. The camera is a 12 megapixel shooter at f2.2 length. Video capability up to 4K, 30 frames per second. The weight of the phone is 113 grams, which makes it super comfortable for this category of phone. Let me give you a physical overlook. We have a Gorilla Glass, chamfered edges, not smooth feeling like iPhone 6 Plus, but that's fine. SE branding, the back. You have a good grip and build. You have a plus point from a chamfered edges. Now it'll prevent you from falls. The physical look has not changed. You see the home button, speaker, sensor, 1.2 megapixel camera. At the bottom, we have headphone jack, microphone, lightning jack, speaker. At the back, we have the camera, microphone, dinner tone flash. At the top, we have power button. Right side is just plain except the SIM card slot. Left side, we have volume down, volume up, mute switch. Touch ID on this mobile is not twice as fast as 6S Plus, but it's good. And there's literally no lag on the screen. The battery is mobile is not removable. It's at 1624 mAh battery, which gives you a normal 10 hours usage per day. Both these phones perform the same. They have an A9 chip, dual core 1.84 GHz twister, power VRGT7600 GPU, and 6 core graphics. Both these phones have 2 GB of RAM, that means they both handle multitasking like a pro. I think you should not buy the iPhone SE. But I don't mean that it's really bad. It's good, but I'd rather prefer an iPhone success. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.